For as long as I can remember, I felt this longing whenever I passed by a grand mountain or a mysterious forest. I felt it whenever I drive by a powerful waterfall or look at a silent stoic glacier. It's like I'm drawn towards it. And even though many hours later I'm in a totally different place, I still think about it. And if I've heard its call, I know that sooner or later I'm gonna end up there. I think it's as simple as curiosity or the lure of the adventure. I had it as a child, and I still have it now. It's all the things that waits to be discovered. We've all asked ourselves those questions. What's on the other side of that mountain? How deep does this cave go? What's it like on top of that waterfall? We take those questions and we bury them deep within until one day when everything clicks, the weather is perfect and you just can feel it in your whole body. Today is the day you're gonna find out the answer to all those questions. Welcome to a new episode of Landscape Photography. Wild Camp edition. <laughs> this has been a bit special week here in Norway because they have lifted some of the restrictions due to the coronavirus and the timing couldn't have been better because the the weather is just perfect. It's warm, it's no wind whatsoever and the uh, forecast for both today and tomorrow it looks just brilliant. So me and my father, we just packed our tents, packed our fishing uh, rods, packed our cameras and packed, <laughs> packed everything. The kitchen, the whole, the whole kitchen sink. <laughs> and we just got in the car and we drove to a, a mountain, which we actually can see from Kame where we live. We can see this mountain, it's called Axla. And we're going up to Axla. Axla is about 693 meters above the ocean, uh, which is not so high that it's covered with snow, but there might be patches of snow up there. So this, this is gonna be great. I'm really looking forward to this. We're just gonna explore, have fun, do some fishing, eat some good food, and just enjoy each other's company up in the mountains, out in nature. It feels really good. Thank you. little pro tip if you find these just take them with you quite handy when building a fire <laughs> So this is the hike we're going to take. We're going to go up to a place called Brennesteg and then we're going to go to Vardefjell. And between Vardefjell and uh, Oxla, there's this little lake called Stemvatne, which is where we're going to pitch our tents. And we're going to go up to that point right there, which is Axla or Oxla. So Dad, are you ready? Are you ready for the hike? Yes, I'm ready for the hike. <laughs> this is going to be great. Uh, Another hike. Hope so. <laughs> I said yes when you asked me to join. I, I'm not quite sure if I, I knew what I said yes to, but... Yeah, I didn't tell you that it was snow at the top. Snow?
right, are you ready for the rope? Yes. I brought the stick here. <laughs> Uh, this will help me now, and in the evening, if I am very cold, I will uh, burn it on the fireplace. That's the plan. What a view! <laughs> Look at this! Wow! Totally worth the little climb there. Just to get up here and look at this. Wow! It feels so good to be outside, you have no idea. Or, I think you have an idea. If you're watching this, you're probably itching to get out yourself. <laughs> Incredible! So, Dad, what do you think? Worth the climb? Yeah, <laughs> this was fantastic. Now it opens up here. Beautiful. You can see the coast out there, the North Sea. <laughs> you can see where we live. Yeah. <laughs> Even though the light is a bit harsh and the sky is really, really blue, I just can't leave this vantage point without capturing it. So I've set up for a panorama and it's just very, very simple. F11, one hundredth of a second over the entire valley here. Stitching them together in Lightroom. It just feels really good to stand here at this spot right now. Eagle there, and maybe there's an eagle there. This point right here, this is Brennesteg, and it's 520 meters above the ocean. Still a very, very good view. We're closing in on Vardafjelle, where we're gonna camp. There's a lake up there where we're gonna do some fishing and uh, build a fire, get a fire going. Before, we're gonna go to that peak, way off in the distance there, in the evening to photograph the setting sun. So that's gonna be great. Let's go to Vardafjelle and put down our backpacks. Yes, <laughs> let's do so. All right. You see? Patches of snow. There's definitely a picture to be had here, but I think we're gonna head up first, pitch our tents and get something to eat 
and then come back here later in the evening. I can see a composition here and I think it would be really, really well when the setting sun is a bit more in, in, the, in the making, so to speak. Some soft subdued light on this scene would look great, I think. We have a plan. We have a plan. Famous last words. And it was a solid plan. Photograph the creek in the subdued evening light. Nothing could be better. However, plans doesn't always carry out the way we plan. And this was made very clear to us when we made it up to Stenbatne, the lake we had planned to camp beside, only to find out that our fishing lake had been covered in ice the night before. Plan for the best, prepare for the worst. We could try some ice fishing. It's not easy to fish with that thin layer of ice on top of the water. But no matter, it's beautiful weather, it's warm, it's absolutely no wind. We have fresh water, we have this beautiful sound of a creek going down there. It's the perfect place to pitch our tents. So that's what we're gonna do. My dad has gone to get us some firewood. He's down there somewhere. And I was thinking about just uh, unpack some of the stuff and then go for a short hike with the camera to see if I can find any compositions for later. And uh, I'm thinking about going over that mountain here just to see if I can find a spot suitable for the sunrise tomorrow morning because the sun is getting up there and that means we won't see any sun in this area at least not until maybe 10 11 12 ish so this is not a suitable sunrise area so we need to see what's on the other side of that little mountain there but we're all well fed we had some coffee and uh, we've had a bit of a rest and we're ready oh so ready for what the evening might bring now all right. As you can see, I've climbed up to that mountain I talked about while I was down in the camp and I'm gonna scout for sunrise locations but as you can see now you have this very beautiful by the way and over here where the Sun is rising we have another mountain ridge so it's kind of more of the same uh, by that I mean that it will take a couple of hours before the sun is high enough so we can light this valley. And when that happens, the morning glow will have vanished. So it's not ideal for sunrise photography, this, this spot here. But 
what we can hope for is some uh, action in the sky here which will be lit by the sun and uh, then this will look kind of cool if everything comes together that will work so of course i'm getting up for the sunrise let's scout on So I got a new plan. Tomorrow morning I'm gonna get up here and I'm gonna photograph this scene in the dusk, in the twilight. And it will be really, really moody, I think. So that's my plan for tomorrow. Very beautiful scene. One, two crop panorama shots of this. I think it will work. So that's my plan. That's what I'm hoping for. I think me and my father, we're, go, we're gonna go to Vardafjelle and photograph the sunset, which is the third stop for today, the third peak. And then we're gonna get back to camp or maybe down to the uh, river I talked about and photograph it after the sun has set because I was down there and checked and it wasn't still, it's too harsh, still too harsh, it didn't work. So we're gonna go back there after the sun has disappeared and maybe photograph a moody scene of that as well. And then we're gonna go back to camp and get a fire going and just have a cup of tea and then go to bed and wake up to this beautiful landscape and photograph a moody scene in the morning. It's a good plan. <laughs> yeah, almost nothing of that happened according to plan. I have overslept. But more on that in the next episode. And if you want to be notified when I upload episode two of this little adventure, please hit that little bell icon below the subscribe button thingy. All right, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and ha det bra, så ses vi snart igen. Allt gott.